I asked him to come in here today because it appears you have a rather rare blood disorder. Disorder? You mean, you mean like a, like a, uh, a d disorder? I'm going to let Dr. Goldman explain it to you since he's an expert in the field and can probably make it a lot clearer than I can. I thought you were going to explain it to him. Well, you know the disease. Yeah. But he's your patient. <laughs> What's going on? Bert, you have a disease known as autotoxia hematosa. Uh, the common name is Wexler's Curtain. It's a progressive blood disorder in which the lymphatic system actually attacks the red blood cells, mistaking them for an invading virus. It's very rare. Yeah. As the disease progresses, the lining of the cells become weakened to a point where they can no longer oxygenate the body. This, of course, includes the brain. Of course. As the deprivation becomes more pronounced, the tissue itself begins to deteriorate, literally suffocating from the lack of oxygen. The entire process takes about uh, two and a half weeks. I don't understand. Well, we're afraid it's terminal. Terminal? Terminal? I often don't tell patients about situations like this because there's nothing they can do. But in your case, the progression is so rapid, I thought you might need a chance to get your affairs in order. What you're, what you're saying is I'm, I'm dying. The later stages are usually marked by a neurological breakdown. There's some medication that can temper this, but... Well, what about chemotherapy? Unfortunately, Bert, this is not cancer. 